The high frequency current probe is a very powerful tool for helping you analyze and evaluate cable currents which often lead to radiated emissions failures. This particular current probe is from Fisher Custom Communications and it's a model number F-33-1 and the frequency range is spec at 10 kilohertz to 250 megahertz. We'll be testing the ST Microelectronics STM32F4 Discovery Evaluation Board, which makes a, a really good uh, low-cost test board for, uh, for practicing troubleshooting. It's powered from USB, and um, we'll be monitoring the emission spectrum using the Siglent SSA3032X Spectrum Analyzer. We're looking from 10 megahertz to 500 megahertz. So what you do is clamp this around the cable like so. I usually use a little bit of bubble wrap to keep the cable as much in the center as you can because if the cable uh, touches the metal case here, it can uh, affect your measurement. So you can see uh, from earlier probing, you can see the um, 270 megahertz clock harmonic. That's the main clock for the microprocessor. And you can see a lot of other emissions as well. See this uh, sloping area here that is often due to uh, broadband uh, digital switching or switching power supply noise. These are narrowband emissions and um, so what you want to do with the current probe is to uh, slide it back and forth on the cable to try and maximize the emissions and the reason you need to do that there, that's about a maximum. The reason you do that is because there are uh, so-called standing waves along the cable due to resonances, and so you want to try and peak up the higher harmonics. Okay, so once we've clamped the uh, current probe around the cable, now you want to record all the highest harmonic levels and see how they correlate to uh, your radiated emissions and uh, very likely there will be some correlation between the two and so um, one reason this is such a powerful troubleshooting technique is that you can implement fixes on the board in various manners and and see right away whether you've you've uh, resolved or lowered some of the higher harmonics there.